Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on radial explodes inside of SolidWorks. To get started, if you're going to be doing a lot of explodes or picking a lot of components to explode, you might want to go in there and use selection sets. So I'm going to do that with my pan head screws. I'm just going to go ahead and control select all the pan head screws and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say save to selection and make a new selection set. This puts the selection sets up on top under a selection sets folder. I can rename that if I wanted to to pan cross screws and continue on but it allows me to pick things quickly and all at once. So to get started with the radial explodes we'd go into the configuration manager and on whatever configuration you want to create an explode you right click. You can see I've already got one in here but I'm going to start this one from scratch by going in and saying new exploded view. Now in order to do the radial explodes you have to select this button right here. This is the radial step explode. If you were already doing linear explodes your system will be set for whichever one you were last in doing the explodes. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on radial explodes. And what I like to do is I like to pick the area that I'm going to be exploding it off of. This is like the face or the round cylindrical radial surface you're exploding it off of. Then I like to go in and select the components to explode. And what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go ahead and select my pan head cross screws and just grab all those at once. And I will go ahead and select to explode it radially. You're selecting the arrow, not the little circle here, but the arrow. And when you pull, they'll pull out radially in there. So that's really all there is to it. If I want to continue, I can say done here. And I can continue with the next step. So again, pick the face that you want to explode from if it's not pre-selected and then go in and select what components. I'll go ahead and grab all my washers for this one and grab the arrow and pull. So real easy ways of doing radial explodes inside of SolidWorks. Now I do want to point out you want to make sure that you do have something that is radial to explode. If I looked at these arms right here on this sensor and went in and tried to do a new explode on these, we can do the same thing, but they're not going to be perfectly aligned if you pull these things out. So again, let's just do another radial explode. I'll go in and select the selection set for all the fasteners. And this time, when I pull it out and continue, I'm going to go in and grab the arms and pull these arms out. And you're going to see if I do this that they're not going to line up perfectly based on how those arms were put in on the flat and then how I pulled those screws out radially. So watch when you're using it because it's really easy to use it and, and get off angle there. Now I could go ahead and leave this like this as an exploded view and it would look fine. But everything doesn't align perfect like it did with the pieces that were really put in radially. So thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.